Okay, yeah, it's most definitely has been a while. What's going on, you guys? So behind that response, I really haven't made a video since January the 7th. And I made that intro January the 5th, the 4th, the 4th. But let's hop right back into the video. Okay, so you guys pretty much want to learn how to do time remap. Time remap is very, very simple and easy to do. All you have to do is just go ahead and do control alt T. You're going to be doing your basic you know, keyframe mapping right now. So I'm gonna skip this part or you guys can skip it, but I'm pretty much just gonna fast forward through this. So after you get done placing all your keyframes together, you wanna go ahead and pre-compose, press this circle, but do not check this box. I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck it, press okay. And now what you wanna go ahead and do is type in Twixter. Now for this is simple, I'm just leaving it up on the screen, 23.976. You wanna go ahead and copy what I am doing. Now, what you're going to do is press the speed and you want to go back one frame and put 155 and go forward and put 30. Now, once you have done that, you want to go ahead and pre-compose again. Keep the box unchecked. Press OK. So now what you want to go ahead and do is go to any of clip and press a keyframe. Also, you want to do control Alt uh, to open up the time remap. And what you want to go ahead and do is just press control and drag the thing all the way to the clip all the way to the end of this like moving clip and now what you want to go ahead and do is pretty much keyframe one part of you know the clip and you want to go ahead and move a little forward if this is the part when you're about to time remap or do velocity i'm proud of it. all right so what you guys want to do now is do control shift d to cut your oh not the music but cut your clip and now what you want to go ahead and do is just drag and press F9. You want to go into graph. And now here is what it will look like. All right, so this is pretty much the basic. You could do whatever velocity or time remap graph you want to do. But this is pretty much how I do mines. All right, so now you have this. <laughs> all right so here's where you have to mess around with the graph because as you can see it's freezing in the middle so what i'll do if i see something like this i'll bring it down a bit and then i'll continue on graphing it Now, what I would do is go deep into the clip. Yeah, that brother's starving. Yes, sir, brother. <laughs> and I will use this to make the frame go more forward. But sometimes it would actually glitch um, for some reason. I don't know why. But uh, we're going to render it out. Oh, wait. First, you wanna also want to add RSMB to make the clip more smooth. I'm going to put 100. You can add this if you want, but I won't really highly recommend it, but go ahead and render it. 